Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about Bootstrap Scroll Spy. This is a component which lets us scroll to a particular section in the page while dynamically updating the anchor tag, the class basically which is active. Pretty useful, especially when you're building a single page applications, uh, which involves only different sections in one page and you want to highlight that particular navigation section. Let's learn all about it and also let's do some hands on. This is part 37 of the series. I have planning around 40 plus tutorials. Right now we are at episode number 37. So make sure that you have seen all the tutorials in this particular series in order to get your hands on properly with all the concepts. Following is the index we have done already. So we are right now on episode number 37 where we are learning about bootstrap scroll spy. All right, so what is a scroll spy? So scroll spy toggles the active class on an anchor element when the element with the ID referenced by the anchor href is scrolled into view. Now this is like I said, very specially useful when you're building a single page applications because you will have a single navigation in those pages and there would be a smooth scrolling that it would take you to that particular section and also highlight the link with active class. The important things that to that you should remember is that you will basically work with the navigation like a UL or LI mostly when you're using scroll spy. You need to define data BS toggle. That's your uh, that's where you will define the uh, scroll spy. So this is the ID that we are giving and we'll give a section like this and give an ID to it. Right. So basically create any link and just pass the ID to it. Right. So it, when you click on this particular link, it will go to that particular section smoothly and arrange the link. OK, so let's go ahead and do some hands on activity for that. I will quickly open the documentation so we don't have to waste time in typing that. So search for scroll spy and go to example. So you can read about that whatever explanation I've given you. That's how it is like how it works. So important thing, like I said, you will have a nav that is navigation where you would have the links like anchor tag, which has a ID, right? href will be hash name of the ID. Now this is the ID that you will define here in the section, right? So whichever section you want to click and scroll to that particular section, you will give an ID to that. And here you'll pass hash same ID name. All right. And one important thing that you should remember is that automatically the links would be updated. Let me show you here. Right now, the first link is active because we are at the first section. Now click on the second. You see the class got toggled and it has come to second section. That means it is doing two things here. One, it is taking the page to that particular section and also toggling the active class like this. Right. So let's go ahead, copy this code to our clipboard go to our code and now I don't have anything here. It's just an empty layout that we are used for most of our tutorials. I'll copy paste here. Uh, this may not work since I have a bigger screen. So I'll add some paragraphs. See, I'm going to throw in some paragraphs because I want to show you that how the scrolling will happen. And similarly, I'll just copy these paragraphs and paste it. Now refresh. So now you see there is a scroll. Um, and now when I click on the first one, it goes to the first section. I click on the second, it smoothly scrolls and goes to the second section. Right. So that's pretty much uh, scroll spy does like it will help you scroll to that and will also help you to anchor tag, which is flipping, which is to first or whichever active class that is basically. So you can see more examples that are given here and get through them as well. So if you see there is a sidebar now when you click on item number two. So see the smooth scrolling and goes and highlights the item that is there. Right. So that's why it is called scroll spy. Right. So you can try out these examples and let me know if you have any questions. It's pretty straightforward, simple thing. Navigation to a particular section um, with making the active class on anchor elements. That's all scroll spy does. 
thank you so much for joining in this episode in the next uh, episode i'll cover about bootstrap position very very important uh, concept to understand uh, almost all the websites or any app that you work with you will require to use bootstrap position we'll learn different variations of it and we'll do some hands on about it right thank you so much for joining in this episode i'll see you in the next episode thank you